This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by lynda.com. Go to lynda.com slash android to start your free trial. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy from AndroidAuthority.com, and this is Android Q&A, where you ask and we answer. This week, we're going to be talking about 64-bit processors, Android 4.3 on all Samsung phones, battery life problems, and a whole lot more, so let's get started. Balraj asks, wait for a 64-bit processor from Android or buy an Android phone with a 32-bit processor. I plan to have my phone for at least two years. Here's the thing with 64-bit processors. There's still a whole bunch that we don't know. We don't know if Android KitKat's going to support 64-bit processing. We think that they will, but we can't be sure until it's actually announced. Device manufacturers haven't announced a phone yet that'll have a 64-bit processor, and processor manufacturers are still just trying to get these things off the line. So what I'm gonna suggest to you is to get a 32-bit device for right now, and then when you're ready to upgrade again, there'll be more 64-bit devices for you to choose from, and you can make that transition more easily. Anna Rude asks, Hey, my mom just got a Note 3 which is supposed to have great battery life. She was using a Bada phone previously which she charged once every 3-4 to four days with moderate use. While I was checking out the Note 3, it ate 2-4% to four percent of battery an hour. Is it a problem or is it supposed to be like that given the screen and the processor? 4% drainage per hour actually isn't half bad. Most Android devices get about 12 hours a day, with some getting about 16 hours a day. At 4% drainage per hour, you're looking at about a 25 hour charge, which is substantially higher than the average for Android smartphones, and beats out pretty much every other smartphone that you can think of these days. Xenoslug asks, what is a stable AOSP ROM based on Android 4.3 for the Galaxy S2 i9100G? Any ideas for use as a daily driver? I did a little searching and I found out that CyanogenMod 10.2 is available for the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100G. According to their known issues page, there are no known issues with this ROM, so if I were to recommend one, it would be that one. Of course, be sure to make an Android backup just in case there's something wrong that's not on their known issues page, so you can revert back if you need to. Richie asks, Hi Joe, I'm currently using the Xperia Z. Should I upgrade to the Xperia Z1 or wait for next year's Xperia Z2? That's a really good question. The Xperia Z1 is an amazing device with some great specs, but according to rumors, the Z2 is going to be even better. However, those same rumors say that the phone isn't supposed to be released until next spring or about six months from now. So the question I have to ask myself is, do I want to wait six months for my next smartphone? If the answer to that question is yes, then I would keep what I have and just wait for the Z2 to drop. If the answer to that question is no, then go ahead and get the Z1. It's still a really great device and you really can't go wrong with either of them. Lots of people asked, when will the Galaxy S3, Galaxy S4, and Galaxy Note 2 get the Android 4.3 update? According to Samsung, the update should be finished and rolling out to people by the end of October. Of course, that time may change depending on your carrier. Some people may get it in October, others may have to wait for November and December, and for Verizon customers, it'll happen eventually. Given the number of carriers and devices that have to be updated, I can't give exact dates because none of them have been announced yet, so just be patient because it is coming. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy from AndroidAuthority.com, and this is Android Q&A. If you have a question for us, follow the link in the video description where you can ask us anything. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this show, check out some of our other ones. The social media links and the written companion are in the video description. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.